In this question, we are given a somewhat beastly computation, but the question says approximately. So we can take the speed of A to be 20 miles per hour, and that of cyclist B to be 15 miles per hour. When we get to the stage of evaluating the answers, we can always recall that we approximated and question whether we have answered precisely enough. Cyclist A therefore rides at a constant rate of 20 miles per hour. Without changing this rate, we want to get it to express the time for 1,500 miles. To do this, we can multiply the fraction by a version of 1, 15 over 20 times 15 over 20. This way, the 20s in the top cancel, and we are left with 1,500 miles in the top. Therefore, A will take 1,500 divided by 20 hours to travel this number of miles. We can see, since the speed of B is 15, that B will take 1,500 over 15 hours, which is more because the denominator is smaller. Now, finding the difference, we have 1,500 over 15 minus 1,500 over 20. We could compute directly, but we could also find a common denominator of 60 and look for things to cancel. That way we get four 1500s in the top minus three 1500s in the top. We're left simply with one 1500 in the top. Then we can drop the zeros, divide by six, and we get an answer of 25. 25 is our estimate for how many more miles it will take cyclist B to travel. That estimate is one of the answer choices. The correct answer is C.